Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be part two of the Love at First Sight tag. In part one, I covered my top 10 Love at First Sight contemporary handbags, which included the brands Coach, Tory Burch, and Longchamp. Well, today I'm back to cover my top eight luxury handbags where I experienced love at first sight. And I know I said five in the video yesterday, but I just can't do it. I'm sorry, guys. I can't. I have love for so many of my bags. I cannot not show you all the ones, or at least the most important ones, where I experienced love at first sight. And I'm going to get right into it and show you the number one first bag in my collection where I experienced love at first sight. I saw this bag decorated like this on Shay Whitney's channel probably four years ago, and I experienced love at first sight. I loved the slouchiness of it. I do have a 1.2 millimeter thickness organizer in it, so it keeps some of the shape, but it still has that squishy gushiness, which I love. And the way she decorated it was with one of these key clays, which is basically like saying key key in French. I know a lot of people say that, but I think it's funny. And then she had a poof on it. Now this is a Michael Kors poof. You can't get them anymore unless you find them on the pre-love market. At least I think so. They could have brought them back. But this is how she decorated her Speedy Bandolier size 25 on her channel. And when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Since then, I have discovered that I do not really care to hang my key clay from the outside of the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. I would say this is my most preferred way to decorate this bag is with this charm. So I hook it to the front of my bag like so. And when the handles lay down, if I were to carry it on my shoulder or crossbody, you can see it still kind of peeks out but it's not flapping around as much as the key clay would. The poof, it doesn't matter if it flaps because it's so lightweight. Let's look at the Alma BB. I also have another beautiful Louis Vuitton charm on this bag. And when I saw this charm, it was love at first sight, but today is about the bags, not the charms. I just have to include them because they make it so special. Anyhow, when I was going through my early parts of my journey with Louis Vuitton, I kept seeing the Alma BB and Damier Ben over and over again, how everybody loved it. And so in 2019, well, at the very end of 2019, I went to Hawaii and I had a chance to try it on in store. And I really did not like the Damier Ben in this particular style. It felt so stiff against my body when the handle was folded down, it just felt hard against me when I was carrying the bag. But they also had these, and I fell in love with this style in both this size and in the size up. Problem was, is they only had it in black and cream, and I was trying to venture out away from those colors. To top it off, they were substantially more expensive. And at that time, I hadn't gotten into anything more expensive than around $1,500 tops. So I wasn't willing to take the leap and buy one of these. I should have, in hindsight, because it's cheaper to buy these bags in Hawaii by a bit, if you didn't know that. But I went ahead and took the plunge last year and bought this gorgeous bag and I love it. As soon as I saw this bag, I was in love. And the reason is because I always liked the shape of the Alma BB, but I wanted the squishiness. And this bag offers both. So this was my second Louis Vuitton bag that I saw where I had love at first sight. I loved the look of the Damiera Ben Alma BB, but when you combined the shape with the materials, this one, had my heart. Next, let's move on to another brand that has my heart, and that is Saint Laurent. So when I started my handbag collecting journey, my luxury handbag collecting journey, I was buying all Louis Vuitton. And with Louis Vuitton in the women's collection, most of it has gold hardware. And I tend to like to match my jewelry to my bag. I don't 
hold it as a hard and fast rule, but it is something that I like to do, and I wear white gold often. As you can see, I'm wearing my Roberto coin pendant that I got, and I've showed you in a video. I can link that video down below. I'm wearing a silver and 18 karat gold David Yurman ring. I'm also wearing silver, or it's actually white gold on my wrist on a diamond tennis bracelet. So when I saw this color combination with the silver hardware, it was love at first sight because I felt like this would go with absolutely everything. I did get it at a discount by purchasing it through Orchard Mile. They had a deal where you could get 10% off your first purchase. And at the time I didn't have to pay tax with St. Laurent. Now I do. And then also on top of all that, I earned rewards with Orchard Mile. So that's how I got this bag. And speaking of Orchard Mile, I found my receipt for my St. Laurent Lou camera bag in the dusty gray color. Yay! So it is on its way back to them to get that glazing worked on. Anyhow, I love the small Lulu. This size is absolute perfection. It has two generous compartments. You'll notice this compartment back here. When compared to the Kira I showed you yesterday or the college bag, you have space from here to here. A lot of bags that are set up like this have a very small back compartment and that is not the case with the small Lulu. This bag feels amazing. It's got a wonderful calf leather and it really started my love for St. Laurent when I got my first Lou camera bag. I bought the Lou camera bag and then the Toy Lulu because they were more price friendly, but the bag that had my heart and my love at first sight was definitely the small Lulu. And it was sort of like a gateway drug to buy the Lou camera bag and the toy Lulu that led me to this bag. Now this is not bag number four, but I had to show it because when I bought my Lou camera bags, I bought the black and the dusty gray color. So I felt like if I was gonna buy the small Lulu, I needed to get it in gray to make a trifecta of colors, let's say. But this color is the one that truly had my heart and I didn't buy it then because I felt like I needed to diversify my color palette and my luxury collection. But I do have it now, so it is an honorable mention. Pretty much all these small Lulu bags have my heart at first sight. As you know, I've added to my collection since then. I can link my video with all my St. Laurent bags down in the description box. A bag that I never thought I would have in my collection was a Chanel medium large handbag. And guess what? I have it. This bag is gorgeous. I usually have pearls draped across the front. Here's the the pearl chain that I use as sort of a grab handle, but when I put them through the grommet here in the front, it makes it so where the chain stays in a shoulder position, a short shoulder position, let's say, because the medium large is not designed to go crossbody. So it's either a short shoulder. I mean, it's not all up in your armpit or anything. See, I've got plenty of space but it's not a crossbody like those St. Laurent bags I showed you because when you put it on the longest setting, it's still not long enough to go crossbody. If I put it crossbody, you'll see it is just right on my chest. So the Chanel medium large was definitely love at first sight as I watch YouTuber after YouTuber after YouTuber with it. But for me, I really just did not think that it was a possibility until one day my husband said, why don't you just sell some of your other luxury bags and get it? And I looked at my collection and found out that I had enough that I was willing to let go of to get this gorgeous beauty. And so that's what I did. I sold a medium St. Laurent mixed envelope bag, and I also sold a couple of Louis Vuitton bags, I believe. For a while, I was really into the hobo style with Louis Vuitton, and I still have my Berry MM, which is my first bag that was given to me by my husband. But besides that, I have moved away from the hobo style. So as my collection evolved and I've let go of some things, that enabled me to purchase this. And I couldn't be happier that I did. This bag has been spawed at Leather Surgeons 
and they reinforced the structure as well as plated the hardware in 24 karat gold or 22 karat gold. These bags used to be plated in either 22 or 24 karat gold and you could tell because they had a little stamp on the turn lock. Mine doesn't have a stamp on the turn lock but it was plated in genuine gold and I was told by leather surgeons that even the bags today do have real gold plating on them. They just don't reach the threshold where they can put a stamp on it, basically. So my bag does have real gold, and that's pretty cool. When I got this bag, the main issue was that there was just a tiny bit of wear on the turn lock. And I'm so glad I got it when I did because I paid around, I think, $3,700 for it and then paid three or 400 to leather surgeons to get it in the state that it is in now, which is just fabulous. Just fabulous. So next, let's move into the world of Gucci. The bag that had my heart, no pun intended, at first sight was this one, the Gucci Marmont in the porcelain rose color. And I held off from buying it because of the heart. Well, recently you may have noticed that hearts have become very popular. And so I'm okay with a heart. I still wouldn't want to wear it on the front of the bag, but on the back, it's okay. It's just a little special thing just for me, you know? But what I did at the time when I was very first getting into Gucci is I bought the camera bag in this particular colorway. And I bought it and I sold it twice because I really wanted this bag and that bag just didn't cut it for me. I also found that the, the structure of the camera bag and this particular leather was a little lacking and I worried about wear and tear on that bag. So that's why I should have listened to my intuition when I sold my first one back to Fashion File and not repurchased it. But I do love this bag. I loved it at first sight. I didn't buy it at first sight, but I'm so glad to have it in my collection now. I do, however, have a camera bag in my collection and it is in the brown color. Gucci came out with a new type of quilting, which is diagonal for this style, when they came out with this brown color as well as several other colorways. And I wanted this color in my collection super bad. And I don't actually like the brown in the shoulder style with the chain quite as well as I like this camera bag. Now, I'm not saying I wouldn't buy it for a penny or anything like that. I used to always ask my dad that. If if you could buy that for a penny, would you, Dad? And he's always like, yes, Aaron, I would do that. Anyhow, when this one came out, I was excited and purchased it right away because I absolutely love this combination. And so it's sometimes the material, the design, all of that goes into play whenever you get starstruck by a bag. And that is certainly what happened with this particular combo. I love it. I have two bags left to go of my eight. First, I'm gonna cover a Prada bag. When I bought my first Prada re-edition, I selected this one. And I did it because of the whole jewelry matching thing. This color is called Ardesia. It's a beautiful shade of gray. And I feel like when I wear a gray handbag, despite the color of the hardware, I can still wear silver jewelry. And so that's why I selected this color and I have found it to be extremely versatile in my wardrobe and couldn't be more pleased with it to this day. It definitely popped in my eyes way more than all the other combinations. Now I'm not gonna say my most recent acquisitions of the Cameo Beige and the Black Prada re-editions are any less desirable or are lower on the totem pole for me than this one. I love, love, love both of those colors, but the bag that started it all was this beautiful Ardesia Gray. I couldn't have imagined getting a different color. It was definitely love at first sight. I tried really hard when I was doing my video yesterday where I covered my top 10 love at first sight contemporary bags, not to cover bags where I was influenced enough by social media to like something that I didn't initially like. And so this bag that I'm showing you last, I would say it's very similar to the Gucci bag where the color combined with the material, combined with the style, all went into play before my eyes went gaga over this bag. 
and it is the Saint Laurent Lulu Puffer Bag in the color Dark Honey. So this bag, when I initially saw it, I saw it almost always in black, and I wasn't in love. I mean, honestly, I wasn't. I wasn't in love until I saw this color. And when I saw this color, I was a goner because it is fabulous. I went down to Dallas with Julie from Agent Bag Reviews and we went to St. Laurent and I tried on this bag and I dismissed it. I really just didn't think that it was for me in large part due to the price as well as the stitches right here. I felt like they were uncomfortable. However, I did have the opportunity to buy this for just a hair over $2,000 from Jessa's Closet or Jessa Closet. I can link her information down in the description box. And when I had that opportunity, I decided that I didn't think the stitches were going to bother me that bad, that I was willing to live with it for the beautiful combination that blew me away the first time I saw it. And I'm so glad I took the leap. I absolutely love this bag. It's so squishy. It's gorgeous. I haven't seen another brand do this color combo this well. And I don't know, what can I say? I'm in love. So all silliness aside, let me just say, I'm not truly in love with any of these bags. I hope you all know that. These are just things, people are more important than things. That's something my mother-in-law told me a long time ago, and it has resonated with me since then. Anytime I'm stressed out about messing up a bag or, you know, messing up something, damaging something, I remember in my head, people are more important than things. We don't need to focus on the things. We need to focus on the people. So while I say I was starstruck, I love these bags, I wasn't truly in love with them, but they do make me happy. And so I am very pleased that I have these eight or nine, wink, wink, if you count the Saint Laurent bag that I showed you two of, bags in my collection. A lot of thought went into this. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. It helps me out so much. I'm approaching 4,000 subscribers and I can't wait for that to happen. And if you haven't found me on Instagram, go do that. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me on Instagram or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I hope to see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.